Okay, lads and lasses, boys and girls, this plant right behind me is called a jojoba bush. It's a bush or a shrub. And um, what's interesting about this is it has different sexes. This one right here is actually a male plant and the one just here is a female plant. And I'll show you some close-ups of how you can tell the difference between them. But in terms of their adaptations, so they don't particularly have tiny leaves, so they're not really microphyllous, but the leaves are reasonably small. But when you touch the leaves, they are very thick and leathery. They have a very thick waxy cuticle. They're very, very leathery. And so that helps reduce water loss through the leaves with that thick waxy cuticle. The other interesting thing about the plant is the leaves tend to stick upwards. And if the leaves stick upwards, then in the hot, dry times of the day when the sun is overhead, then the leaves are in shadow but when the sun goes lower in the sky at sunrise and sunset, so it's a little bit cooler, then the leaves face the sun and it can photosynthesize. So that's a positional adaptation of the leaves to avoid the intense solar radiation in the uh, midday, but be able to be face on to the sun when it's not quite so intense during um, the early hours and the later parts of the day. So this is a male plant and you can see that these are the male flowers and this plant will only make pollen which are the male gametes of a plant. In contrast this one over here is a female plant and it's not yet made its female flowers at least I can't see any and all we can see are remnants of the fruits of the plant from last year and there would actually be a little nut in there and it's um, a jojoba fruit and you might have heard of jojoba already. Jojoba um, wax is used in a lot of different things like hair care products and, and car waxes. Um, and we extract the jojoba wax from the nut of the female plants.